So good day everybody. So today we'll be discussing one of the very important points that every physician needs to understand. This is in conjugation to the video I had made earlier regarding the description of a murmur according to the 10 points I had found. Now today we'll be discussing the specific maneuvers to describe a murmur. Now there are four specific maneuvers. One is the valsalva. The next is the respiration. The third is the hand grip. And the fourth is the squatting posture. Now the valsalva is an increase in the respiratory pressure against a closed glottis. As a result of which almost all the murmurs of the heart tend to decrease their intensity during the valsalva. Except the murmurs from the hypertrophic cardiomyopathies and the mitral valve prolapse. They tend to an increase during the Senna valsalva maneuver. Now the next part that is respiration. The respiratory murmurs are described according to the inspiratory phase and the expiratory phase. The inspiratory phase is the one in which the blood moves from the heart to the lungs. When this happens, that is flowing through the right sided heart is moving rapidly as a result of which there is more enough friction with the blood and the valves as a result of which the intensity of the sound that is auscultated tends to increase as a result of which the murmurs from the right sided heart are heard a lot clearer during the inspiratory phase. During expiration, the blood moves back into the heart from the lungs. There is an increase in the flow along the left sided heart. The valves that is the mitral valve and the aortic valve show an increase in friction with the blood during this phase. As a result of which, the murmurs from the left sided heart are heard a lot clearer and a lot better with na expiration. Now we have to understand there are two forms in which the murmurs can be better heard. That is during the increase in the preload and the increase in the afterload. Now there are two specific maneuvers for this case. When the increase in the afterload is done, this is known as a hand grip maneuver. Now in this case, the mitral regurgitation murmurs and the aortic regurgitation murmurs tend to increase during this phase. Except you have to remember this, that the hypertrophic cardiomyopathies tend to decrease during this phase. The squatting posture is a posture in which the person rapidly now bends down on his knees as a result of which the preload increases rapidly to the heart. The preload increasing flow increases the venous return. More blood flows through the entire circuit of the heart into the left atrium. The left atrium then moves the blood to the right and left ventricle flowing through the mitral valves as a result of which the murmurs of air, mitral regurgitation and aortic regurgitation tend to get louder during this phase. Except that we have to remember is hypertrophic cardiomyopathies show a decrease of the sound waves during this, this maneuver.